Well, Cardinal Hume was my uncle, so my mother was one of his older sisters. And uh, in the family, of course, we called him by his family name, which was George, rather than his monastic name, which was Basil. So he was always Uncle George within the family. He always saw in other people something special and that was part of the way in which he related to and, and valued other people and he would think not only that there's something they can do better than me, there's probably something I can learn from them as well. He was clearly a man of uh, considerable stature and I recall friends, including friends in other Christian faiths, who obviously looked to him as, if you like, the country's primary spiritual leader or certainly primary Christian leader for much of the time that he was at Westminster. So he had a natural authority, a natural leadership, which I think very much came from the care with which he weighed his words, the fact that he didn't rush into every controversy and have something to say immediately. He would choose his moment and when he did say something, 99 times out of 100, it was just the right thing to say about that particular topic, about that incident. And I think that helped to establish him as uh, someone of real authority uh, and who just had this natural aura of leadership which people responded to. One of the things that uh, was very clear when he became Archbishop was that it really didn't change him. He was still the same Uncle George. And that was very apparent at his annual Christmas party for the family. And that was a party which inevitably involved lots of young people, my children, my cousin's children, and so on. And he was always interested in everybody, the young and the old. And he was always interested and concerned for people who were less fortunate than, than he was. And I think those two strands of concern for those who were for whatever reason unfortunate or whose full potential was not being fulfilled and for young people come together very well in the uh, work of the Cardinal Hume Centre and I'm sure his wish would be uh, that that work continue and flourish not only in London but if possible elsewhere as well.